thanks to the passionate collecting of the Habsburg monarchy, the Naturhistorisches Museum is one of the most important and eclectic natural history museums in the world, with, believe it or not, over 30 million objects. You can explore taxidermied animals, fossils, dinosaur skeletons, a digital planetarium, and a collection of meteors. Bring your kids, if they're brave enough, and take your time. The Imperial Natural History Museum was created by Emperor Franz Josef I. He dedicated it to the realm of nature and its exploration, which is inscripted upon the front of the building. Just take the Subway U3 to Volkstheater. You can't miss it. It's easy to think of this as just a regular natural history museum with maybe a little bit of imperial flair, but you have to also remember that this is a state-of-the-art science facility as well. You've got taxidermy preparation labs, you have a DNA lab, and right now I'm lucky enough to have a behind-the-scenes look at how an electroprobe microanalyzer works. Without a doubt, this tiny little statue is the big star of the collection, Venus von Willendorf. It is 29,500 years old and only 11 centimeters tall. It was found in Lower Austria in 1908. This symbol of fertility is a masterpiece of early Stone Age sculpture. My personal favorite space in this museum has to be here in the mineral collection, especially since I'm a collector of stones myself. And it is vast. It just gives you all the space, room after room, to just marvel at some of the most beautiful aspects of our natural world. The Naturhistorisches Museum is a place of magic for all ages. Adults will get lost here, but children can also be transfixed by the collections. And please remember what I said. When you come here, take your time, look around, enjoy, and explore. <laughs>